What is going on guys and girls, Level Up here at On Point Gaming's On Point Tactical. Today we're going to be going over three of the maps that are in Battlefield 4. Now we're not going to go over all of them because, in all honesty, if I went over all of them, this would be like an hour long video because these, there's so much to know about these maps and I thought I would start with Henayan Resort or whatever. The Alpha Objective is kind of like a little mall store corner area <laughs> at least on conquest small it has an upper level that can be used for taking the objective as well as getting a vantage point over the B and Charlie objectives if you're playing recon the stairwell here is a very big choke point and in fact it is the cause of a lot of deaths in this game uh, just constantly I'm, I'm getting dropped in the in the stairwell trying to get upstairs because there's constantly snipers and right here my squad mate fails me miserably. I was in kind of like an awe state right after that happened. <laughs> so pitiful. So we're going to head on towards the Bravo objective. And uh, here's that rooftop vantage point. So Bravo from this side of the map, uh, it, it, it's the hotel, the big hotel resort. There is a pool out front and well out back and out front there is a parking area so this is what it looks like from the south side of the building right here is what it looks like from the opposite side of the building uh, coming up from the alpha or sorry the charlie objective headed straight towards bravo and uh, you're, you're gonna get this view if you're coming from the side of the map if you've kinda gone around this is the uh, back side of the hotel and actually both wings of the hotel can be brought down with explosives in case you were wondering you just take out both levels of supports on either wing and just the central uh, part of the building will remain standing so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the bravo objective here uh... right here is sort of the start of the objective you're finally getting into what would be called the bravo area it is kind of like its own little island as are all of them on this map and here is what it looks like from the inside. It is exactly like you might expect a hotel to look like because it is a hotel. Anyway, it looks like this tank guy. I think he. I think he's upset because he booked some reservations and they filled his room up. So you know he's just trying to kill everybody that's that's inside of here. But either wing of the building has the same loadout just in reverse or layout. Sorry, not loadout. Has the same layout just in reverse. And uh, this map is a good map for using zoomed optics if you're going to try and use one on your gun. This is going to be the map to run a zoomed optic and canted iron sights, as you'll see here. Because as we start heading towards Charlie here in a second, you're going to need that zoomed optic for some added range. Uh, and this is the pool area. I'm not, I don't think I actually... No, I don't look at it. But over there is Charlie Objective. And this is what it looks like whenever you're heading towards it from Bravo. It is. It's all it, like it's. It's all, It's its own little series of islands. There's several little islands on the way from Bravo to Charlie. Uh, the boats are going to have a lot of dominance on this map with the attack boats, because you can kind of move in and out of the island area and uh, you know hose down infantry if you need to. Because it's going to be a there's going to be a ton of choke points. All these little islands are going to be choke points because players start to immediately think that they're just sitting ducks in the water for the boats but actually your head bobbing up and down is going to be a lot harder for them to hit than you being on the island but just just because it's the initial reaction a lot of players are going to go straight for the islands and the boats are just going to absolutely rip through people charlie is like a little boat dock area with two houses or well, several houses there's rocks on the hillside that can be used as a vantage point to Get an advantage on your opponents that are trying to take Charlie objective. Uh, the boats are also going to have some dominance right here because these wooden structures are over a channel that the boats can just drive straight through. So it's going to be a big choke point on that map. Next, look. Let's look at Operation Dawnbreaker. Now, Dawnbreaker is the neon lit city. Uh, right here is an over the head, like an overhead view of it of the uh, the layout, and you got one main strip of highway that Charlie is an overpass over and that is going to be like the central area for most of the battles going on on this map I can tell already so coming from the Chinese deployment this is what the map looks like 
It's very early in the morning, and you can tell that almost immediately. It actually looks like morning. It doesn't look like the evening, and it doesn't look like it's at night. It looks like the morning. Echo Objective is a parking garage type area. And in fact, let's look at a freeze frame right here. This is going to be good for infantry combat if uh, if th this flag is taken over, or th if this is like the last one that, that a team needs to take over, the U.S. side needs to take over. This is going to be a great place for infantry heavy combat because there is a curb that you can't actually get up to on the tanks uh, unless you go around. You can finally get up to that level, but infantry is going to play a huge role on this objective, and I can tell that pretty much instantaneously. So now we're going to head towards the central area of the map. Delta flag has just been taken, so I'm not going to go there. This right here is the Charlie objective. It is an overpass over that central highway that runs the length of the map. Uh, it's going to be a big choke choke point for tanks. Tanks are going to play a huge role on this map, at least on the highway. Some of the smaller areas are going to be great for infantry, like the Bravo objective is going to be an area that armor really isn't going to have much an effect on how the battle goes because there's not much they can do in those areas just because of how small they are. This is what it looks like whenever you're actually down by the overpass. And the top of the overpass looks just like you might expect. It looks like an overpass. Now, the Levolution event actually can move the Charlie objective. What you do is you hop on this dirt bike. Well, you can hop on a dirt bike or a quad bike, this is. But it works easier on a quad bike, and you're going to hopefully not get shot at by a helicopter because that's a bad thing. I just passed it. But there's two manhole cover type uh, items. Turn around right here. You'll see what I mean. And there's a pipeline. A pipeline that goes under the road. And you want to go down here to the control panel and press box. And then you got to run to the other side, the other end of the map, and uh, and switch that, that valve as well, which I'm going to do here get on this quad bike and make a mad dash for the other end of the map. You're going to want to try and do this while your team has control of Charlie Objective because if the other team has control of it, it's going to be dang near impossible to try and get through here without dying. And that helicopter is an absolute disaster for quad bikes because it only takes a couple rockets to bring these things down to a full stop. So you go down here, you flip the second valve, both are on the right hand side as soon as you go down the stairs. and we're going to go up here and wait on the Levolution event to actually happen. I believe it does take a second, but hopefully not too long. I'm trying not to get spotted by that helicopter. And... That right there is the Levolution event that brings down the center of the overpass. And right here is a view of what the Charlie objective looks like after you've done the Levolution event. It uh, basically just moves the flag down and makes it more easily accessible for infantry, but it also makes that bus right there a very good area to kind of hang out and get a, a, a vantage point on the Charlie objective because your opponents aren't going to be able to see you in there very well. Now the Bravo objective is the area of the map the team deathmatch takes place in. It is kind of like a little inter entertainment center is what I would most easily describe it as. Like a little theater or office building type area. This is where the actual flag is. And right over here is why it kind of reminds me of an entertainment center. So you just kind of have these walkways that are going back and forth and up and down. This is going to be a great area for infantry combat. The server was only like halfway full at the time. And it's going to be a great area for infantry combat. And right here I hop in the helicopter and so I'm just going to kind of run up and down the highway to give you a view on the map's layout. Charlie Objective has, been, has already been brought down, and infantry can hide under that overpass from the helicopter quite effectively, I might add. Turn around here. These areas are going to kind of be over to the side are going to be a great areas for jeeps. But this is the layout of the map. you got Bravo Objective, Charlie Objective, and Delta Objective kind of in a straight diagonal line across the highway which means the tank dominance in these objectives is going to be high. Next, let's look at the Flood Zone map. Now, the Flood Zone map, I think, is one of my favorite Team Deathmatch maps anyway because it all takes place on the rooftops. Right here is an overhead view. It's a very compact map, meaning and it's also linear in both directions. The flags are linear north and south, but the map kind of plays linear 
east to west. Um, your U.S. deployment starts over there on the west side. Right here's the Bravo objective. This is also the area where Team Deathmatch takes place is on the rooftops here. This is why I like this map so much. Right here, this area is very much so dominated by infantry. In fact, this entire map is. There's not a lot of point in trying to get a tank because the Levolution event on this map is that after a certain amount of explosives you can actually bring a levee down and pretty much just flood the entire map with water. Flood zone. Uh, it. There's the other, there's a look at the other side of the Bravo objective. Um, I forgot to put that freeze frame in there, but you basically just flood the streets and make a whole bunch of routes for jet skis and uh, attack, well, not the attack boats, the rigid hauled inflatable boats, uh, I believe is what the RHIB boat means. Um, I think it's an acronym for that. But it's going to be a, a fantastic area for in infantry. The uh, support helicopters are going to play a huge role in this game mode, or this map, sorry, and in Conquest, well, not really any game mode on this map, it's gonna have a huge role um, on any server where only one helicopter's up, or both helicopters are up. I didn't see the hel both helicopters get used a whole lot, but I know that because of how these rooftops are, you could just hover sort of to the side at a semi-slow speed so that nobody hits you at a decent distance, and those minigun gunners could just absolutely destroy infantry on the top. Right down here is the Alpha objective. This is what it looks like from the Bravo objective. Uh, it's going to be a great place for infantry combat as well, but it's going to be on a lower level, so beware of snipers and light machine gunners. Staying up here on the Bravo objective side, shooting down onto Alpha. If you're on Alpha, that's just one thing that you're going to need to be careful about, because I guarantee you that there's going to be snipers and light machine gunners constantly. I don't think the levees broke at this point, and I believe it breaks while we're over here a little bit later. That area right there, where the water's leaking from, right there, you just shoot it with enough RPGs or C4 or anything, and you can just flood the entire area with water. Uh, I'll see if I can find a freeze frame of it uh, later and just kind of splice it into here, but the uh, area that this objective takes place in is always wet, and in fact, they're trying to bring it down right now. And for some reason, the four-wheelers actually are able to navigate the map pretty decently before the Levolution event. And we're going to head right over here to Charlie Objective. Charlie Objective is a fuel station, and kind of a question mark type uh, fuel station, because it looks like it's randomly placed, but then you realize that it's just flooded. I think this is after the Levolution event has already occurred here. Now, I'm in the uh, rigid hold inflatable boat with on the minigun so this flag really is kind of its own area infantry and vehicles are going to be up on the overpass as you'll see right here shooting down onto charlie so you're also going to want to look out for snipers and light machine gunners in this area assault rifles unless they're on a bipod are going to have a decently hard time of taking targets out at any sort of distance on this map because it is a decently long map to start with so this has been a sort of detailed look at three of the maps. First off, we started out with the H9 or whatever, Hainion, I don't care, map, uh, the hotel resort map that is kind of islandish. Then we looked at Operation Dawnbreaker, the neon lit city that starts out early, early, early morning, and then the sun slowly comes up later in the map. And here we're looking at Flood Zone. And uh, actually, it looks like the A objective is flooded right here. See if I zoom out, we can tell. Uh, yeah, this is what it looks like after it's flooded. It's just water everywhere. So you need a boat or you need to swim uh, on the, this area of the map. So I'm level. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I'm level up here at On Point Gaming's On Point Tactical. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about these maps. Have a good one and take it easy.